Hello everyone. In the last video, we have seen the process of reproduction and we know how fertilization takes place to form a zygote and how a zygote develops into an embryo which ultimately develops into a child. We have also seen the organs of the female reproductive system. We know now that the girl which is born, her ovary already consists of many immature eggs or ova. On reaching puberty, some of these eggs start maturing and these eggs are released from the ovary. This release of eggs from the ovary is called as ovulation. In female, ovulation happens approximately once in a month. Ovulation only starts after attaining puberty. Now, if the release egg fuses with the sperm, it could lead to the formation of zygote and in that case, the uterus must be ready to receive and nurture the embryo. For this reason, before ovulation, the inner lining of the uterus becomes thick and soft with lot of blood capillaries. If fertilization occurs, the zygote form will implant itself on the inner lining of the uterus. Now the question arises, what happens if the egg is not fertilized? If the egg is not fertilized, it lives for about one day and if the fertilization of egg is not taking place, then the preparation inside the uterus like thickening and softening of the walls is not required any longer. So the uterus lining breaks down and comes out through the vagina in the form of blood and mucus. This breakdown and removal of the inner lining of uterus along with the blood vessels is called as menstruation. Now we know that the egg is released from the ovary periodically and therefore if the egg is not fertilized, menstruation also happens periodically. This cycle of menstruation which happens every month is called as menstrual cycle. Menstruation normally lasts for 2 to 8 days. In common language, menstruation is also called as periods. It starts in a female when she attains the age of puberty, which is 10 to 14 years. The first menstrual cycle is called as menarche. At the age of 45 to 50, the menstruation stops permanently and it is called as menopause. So, in this video, we have seen the menstruation and the menstrual cycle. In our next video, we are going to see the reproductive health the diseases which are transmitted sexually and how to prevent them.